everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So we have got a lot of changes to the mechs. Let's have a quick, well, not a lot of changes, but we've added a couple of new mechs to the roster. Let's have a look at the mech bay. Now we've got the Grand Summoner and the Thunderbolt up and running. Um, so we've removed the Hellspawn. Um, and we also removed, what else did we remove? My God, you think I would know. We removed something else. I don't, oh, the, uh, the crab, that's right. Um, so I've got a couple of loadouts on these guys that I'm not 100% happy with, but I think they're pretty good. Uh, it took me a while to actually get them outfitted and loaded up here. So let's have a look at this guy here. So the Grand Summoner, 70 tons. It's the 350 core plus three heat sinks. Uh, because that's all I had. I dropped it in the center here just to save some space in here. Um, we've got a pirate fire control system in here. Now it's not the best. It's got plus 10% of heat weapon heat generated. Uh, but we've got a lot of heat sinking in this thing. Uh, so I'm not worried about that. But we, the thing I wanted was the plus one accuracy and the plus one evasion pips ignored. Um, now it does have plus one recoil with ranged weapons. So we're going to have to watch our recoil on this. Uh, and we've also got a battle control, uh, sorry, battle computer um, ballistic, which gives us plus one accuracy with ballistic weapons. And we're going to use that with our Ultra 20 here. Now we do have a minus one recoil on the, ultra, on the arm here for the Ultra 20. So that'll help out. We put the light tag in here as well. We've got um, two regular tons and a double ton of uh, ammo here, which gives us 11 turns of, ult of uh, ultra firing, which isn't too bad at all. Uh, I don't foresee us having to use that all the time, but uh, most likely this thing might jam because of recoil and all that stuff. So we'll have to be very careful with that. Um, has a flat 32% jam chance mitig mitigated by gunnery. So I have to be careful with the ultra. We can fire single shots all we want, um, but the ultra is going to be an issue. And then uh, to uh, round it all out here on the other side, we've got four ER medium lasers to help it with a little bit of range and also with a little bit of laser punch. So when this isn't fighting or firing, we've got all these to fire with. Uh, a couple of extra heat sinks. So the heat sinking is actually not that bad. Um, it's it sh uh, That alpha strike should say 110 because we got plus 10% because of the pirate fire control system. Uh, so it's a little bit over, but it's actually pretty darn good. Uh, Guardian ECM, powered sensors, range finder pl for plus one gunnery. Um, yeah, so it's uh, pretty, uh, I think it's a pretty good loadout. We'll have to see how it goes today. Now this me mech's going to need to get in relatively close. Um, but with a 350 core on this thing, it's just, I know it's a 70 ton mech. It's moving just as fast as everybody else, 610. So, um, Hopefully we can get it in close to get utilize this Ultra 20 as best we can. So that's this guy. And now we've got the Thunderbolt, which I think actually worked out pretty well. So we picked up a prototype double heatsink kit, which we dropped in here. Now this thing's got a pair of ER larges, a large uh, pulse clan, and a pair, pair of LRM 15s with a double load of ammo. So this is 270 shots. So we've got, uh, if these things are firing all the time, we've got nine turns of firing, which isn't too bad. Uh, we've got a heat bank for our overheat, plus uh, a whole crap ton of prototype double heat sinks. Um, so our heat sinking is actually pretty darn good, 81, 85. We've got the fire control system Nova here, which reduces our um, heat generation by our laser weapons. We've got the enhanced imaging stuck in here. now. Um, I don't know if we'll turn this on very much for maximum evasion and initiative because this is basically a long range platform. So, I mean, we're going to get plus two to, to uh, gunnery and plus two to piloting and plus one to guts and plus one to tactics without that. So I don't know if we'll need to do that. I'll, it'll get a plus one accuracy when, we're, when it's activated. But once again, I don't know if we'll activate it or not. Problem is, is if it fails, the pilot's going to take damage. Uh, also, when it's turned on, the pilot will take overheat damage. So you have to be careful of that too, right? Um, and then I put our battle computer in here. I was missing the plus two initiative, so I want to make sure we have that. So I put that in here for now. Uh, once I get a uh, another set of tracker sensors, that will go in here as well because this is a long range platform, but I don't have any right now. So right now it's going to be the battle computer. So that's this. Now, let's take a mission. Uh, let's go to the command center. So I think what we need to do is we need to do a uh, contested wheel here first. Uh, we've got a capture the base mission. Um, uh, does it say who we will be fighting? Locals, right? Uh, planetary government, yep. So we've got this one, and then we've also got... Uh, where are you here? 
heavy lure. So I think we could probably pull both of these off today. Let's see how fast we can destroy this base and then we'll get into heavy lure right afterwards. I want to see how our lo new loadouts are working under a relatively controlled environment here. So we're going to take this one. It is three and a half skull, but we've uh, shown that we're more than capable of being able to handle that. Now we've got to decide who's going to get what. So let's get Duck in here, Hellion, Gundal, and Mastodon. So I think we're going to leave... Um, we're going to leave the Centurion on Hellion for now. I was going to give her the, um, the Grand Summoner with the AC-20. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should. Although, you know what? God, it's a toss-up because I want that rack uh, to be really, really accurate. So maybe Gundal should get the AC-20. We're going to switch him out of the uh, artillery roll, I think. And let's throw the... Mm, Ah, it's a tough choice here. Let's bring the Apollo down here. Let's bring the Thunderbolt like this, I think. Actually, let's bring switch these two around. Do I want to leave Goofy on the Bushwhacker? I think so. I think so. His name kind of works with the name of the mech. Uh, let's try this and we'll see how it plays out. I mean, our pilots are all, all pretty good. Even Duck and Mastodon here are actually okay. Uh, yeah, let's go this route. Alright, here we go. Now, are we alone here? Beautiful. Alright, there's our target. Stay on target. Okay. Let's do this. Time to earn our money. Sure is. Looks like we got a lance. We got three lances here. Or it might be two lances and a turret, and most likely uh, a reinforcements afterwards. All right, let's get this going here. So I've been thinking about the uh, how we're going to do the allocation of our lances here and I don't know I'm thinking that Hellion's uh, lance is most likely going to be the the uh, attack lance and um, sprint it up here uh, Hellion's lance will be the attack lance and uh, infiltrators lance is probably going to be the fire support but it really depends on what kind of mechs we get oh looks like you can't move really that's okay, we're gonna fix it. I'm jumping, yes I am. Good to go. It's a good thing that you got that rack. Roger. And I don't mean that in a crude way, I mean it as the rack five because you got the range, so she doesn't have to move that far this round. Alright, how we oh this thing's got some pretty good speed for a seventy ton mech. Got it. Full speed, no time. Oh for a sixty five I mean. But that's right, we put that bigger engine in it. I think we put the 330 in there, if I'm not mistaken. I think. All right, see how far up here we can get. See if we can get some contacts. No bleeps, no sweeps, no creeps. Okay. Yes, Commander. Let's get on the road. You are the artillery, so... Don't need to be in direct line of sight of anybody. You, however, do. That's a pretty good move for a 70 ton mech. Double time. Let's go. Pretty good move. Reporting. Not as much as I wanted though, but not bad. Let's get you up front. So I think if we're going to have Hellion's Lance as the um, the attack lance, then most likely Goofy's going to have to move into that lance. Alright, let's move. Let's move out. Good thing we put that bigger engine in the Centurion. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, ooh. Got some lerms happening. Hopefully it's not a minefield. Is that a turret or was that a mech? That was a uh, Anubis. 
It's raining something. Archer. A weakened version, though. Archer P. Huh. We may have to go around the fire. All right, Mastodon. What do we got over here? Drill send. Looks like they're weaker. Probably the secondary lance. We got range? We don't have range. That's fine. So yeah, we're going to probably have two missile mechs and two direct fire laser mechs in the main lance, which will be the uh, the uh, support lance. And then the secondary lance will be the AC-20, maybe the Rack 5, and then the Bushwhacker. That's my thought anyway. I don't know if that's really going to play or not. I mean, I know it doesn't really matter as far as being on the board. Christ, those are mines probably. Well, they got the right lance friggin' defending this base. You have order? Well, no mines in the way. Uh, yeah. We got to have to spread out here, I think. You get up here. I know it doesn't really matter who's in what lance. Because we're all kind of on the board this exact same way. Or exact same time, exact same place. It doesn't really matter, but... It does kind of to me. I like to keep things organized. You know, having dedicated max to dedicated pilots, that kind of thing, right? Alright, let's see if we can give these guys some, uh, some what for here. Show them what an LRM-70 looks like. Uh, this archer... This was the one that laid the flame down, I think. 9%, huh? 7, 7... 16 on this archer, so we're taking this one, firing. All right, a little bit of damage. Good thing he's got reduced armor to start. Don't know if those are mortars or what they are. But uh, that person that recommended, and I apologize, I don't remember your name, recommended that I get the... Uh, oh, shoot. You can't go that way? recommended that I put the AMS's on. It's probably laughing at this point. And I don't blame you. Okay, just gonna walk it up. Get our stability and heat back. Alright, get up here, girl. We got a Lerm 5. We can use that. Sure, why not? Yeah, one hit, beautiful. Yes, Commander. Okay, parallel LRM 15s. What's our chance to hit? 0.9. Yeah, we're gonna leave it for now. We've only got nine turns of firing on that guy, so. Uh, let's see if you can spread out a little bit. Oof, really? You know, the way that the um, game is set up now, if you had those uh, tracker sensors on all your mechs, you could just stand back and just paste people. I mean, it's very rare that you're engaging mechs at close range a lot of the time. So you could just stand back with those sensor trackers and just paste people. As long as you can see them, you know. Oh stop, you're just embarrassing yourself. Just watch my heat. I'm taking damage. I see ya. 
Ebola moving up. Oh, light carrier. Probably got mortars on it. Not much armor left in that location. You're fine. Warning. Armor low. They got the right defenders in this base, that's for sure. Just don't fall over. Reporting. Oh, minefields, eh? Lovely. Doesn't matter where we move. Okay, we're going to move up here. Confirmed. Really? Modern operational military base, huh? Looks that way to me, too. Let's get up here. We're still a couple turns out. Got to get those lerms working. So we've got... Is this carrier? I don't know if that carrier is fully armored or not. We know the archers aren't. Alright. Uh... Sure, we'll go right here. We're going to go after this guy. Although he's harder to hit, we might be able to take him out. All well, the arrow missed. Not quite enough, eh? Because we can use other guys on these guys, this guy down here. Uh, let's get you... God, we're in rough terrain here. I don't want to be there, but... That's not bad. It's the guy we hit last time. No idea what his status is. Okay, so we're going to do a multi-target here. Uh, oh, we can't. Because I got you in the wrong hands. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, as long as we're not going through the minefield, I'm happy. Point 0.9, huh? 9.2 in the drill sim, we'll take it. Soften them a little bit. This guy, please. Wow, really? We got lots of ammo. You never know. If you got lots of ammo, it's worth it. If you don't have lots of ammo, eh. Don't bother. Oh, stop. Well, maybe those trees are helping out. We got a guy here I need you to get rid of, please. Location confirmed. Now the question is, is do we go HE? I guess we don't not go HE. Let's leave the barrage off. Engage. Beautiful. 
local trash. Can't risk not doing it, I guess. Scratch a target. The heavy lure should go pretty quick after this one, I think. Pacify the area around the base and then occupy the fortress. See guys, you can sing anything. You can sing just about anything. I love how they've mirrored this map here too. Like, why not? Just saves time. You're not using that part over there anyway. Ebola. Frickin' mortars, man. Light damage. Holding firm. Fucking voodoo magic, man. Can't get in anywhere else to see anybody else, so we'll just move into here. Give this guy a pasting. See ya. Enemy unit Stealth your ass out of that. Yes, Commander. Don't quite have the juice. Yeah, we got the ATM-3. Well, that's not a bad chance to hit. I understand. Eh. Failed to connect. That's alright. I'm receiving you. That's alright. Not the best place to be, but... What do we got here? Wow. Well, you're not really a missile mech anyway, so... 7.3. Sure. Yeah, man, two points. Ready for orders. Two points is two points, is what I gotta say. 34% on this guy. Nope, he's the target. Here it comes. Roger. Yep, probably got that torso. You most certainly did. Roger. Orders. Need you to sprint, please. Let's switch back to standard and take a pot shot at this Ebola. Oof, maybe not. Okay, we got the ammo. Let's just do it. Wow. Negative damage. I repeat, negative damage. Should have hit with at least one. Got 24. This guy crests the hill, you guys are in trouble. Someone's gonna pay. This archer here is gonna pay dearly. Hopefully we can get enough pieces to make another archer. We could get rid of the Apollo then, I think. An ATM Archer build would be kind of interesting. We got a couple of extra tons of ammo. We got an ATM 9, and I think I think we got two ATM 9s and a 6 just sitting around. Just shitting around there, waiting to be loaded up with stuffs. See, she can hit with 10%. Sprint your ass up here. And here I was, I was worried I was putting too many LRMs and stuff on my on my max, but now I realize I just don't have enough. Oh stop! Stop it! Damage minimal. Yeah, I'm coming around that hill in a second. You're frigged. They got what? Five guys left. It's two archers, the Anubis, the Bola, and what? That's something down there. Maybe something stealthy. Waiting for orders. 
Uh, let's fire first. 31. Oh, it's an Imuit. Okay. I think we got enough parts to maybe put one of those together. All right, let's drop it on this guy. See ya. One left target. Dude. Good shooting. Awaiting order. There we go. It's not standing rough terrain if I can avoid it. And he's been itching to fire this off, so we're dumping everything into him. Little payment, little payback for everybody. Thought that would have been enough to kill, but not necessarily. Yep. He is pissed off. Taking way more damage on this mission than we should have. Let's see what we can do to this emulate here. Engaging target. Oh, really? I want to get the archer, but I don't want to lose stuff on it. I guess I could have done a... Uh, Yeah, I guess I could have done a uh, offensive push and tried to pull his leg off, but let's just blast this guy. Reporting critical hit. Commander. Ooh, there we go. Full speed sounds good. Mm-hmm. Start out to five. I gotta watch out for those barrages because I'm an idiot. Uh, meh, really? That's a little better. This one's a multi-target. You? Look at those chances to hit, man. I can't multi? Because he's stealthed, that's why. Alright, let's just OP this guy. Look at this. 75, 74. Ah, uh, yeah. Nice hit, but you didn't kill him. Okay, overheat, huh? We'll leave one of these guys off. Eh, yeah, fire the rest. Yeah, man, ATA builds for the win. Yeah, it's nice knowing that you can't multi-target stealth units. Okay, they got three guys left. Fuck the stability, dude. You better move. Okay, the Apollo, I think, is in range to get inside the base there. It's hard to tell from here because of all the smoke, but if we can just... Oop. He's overheating. You might be in range. Of course you are.
I think they all moved before us. They're most likely down here. They all moved before us. Let them go. Yeah, there we go. What was that? Oh, is that a Jenner? Owens. Okay. Those were kind of neat mechs. It would have been nice to have one of those to start with, but eh. Is that another Owens? It is, too. Reporting. Uh... Okay, let's do this, 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 and let's leave these off because I don't want to apply way too much damage to this guy. But I want to leave the rocket on because I, I might be able to shut him down. The is confirmed. Or is he already shut down? No, he is now. Critical hit. Beautiful. As long as he doesn't go next. Okay, see what they do here. Okay, Mastodon, are you in range to get in that base? You are not. But, let's take care of a little problem over here. Got an Anubis problem. Not anymore. That's a kill. Did you see the Artemis explosion? 720 damage. Alright, now we can do this. Uh, I think that's a waste of my firepower. This isn't. What's this guy? Oh, is that the, uh... It is. It's the Transformer version of the Shadowhawk. 55 tons. That's pretty damn cool looking. Let's see if we can get that guy. Okay. Leg. Leave the rotary off. Fire the rest. There's the leg. Come on, buddy, bail out. Look at the melt on this guy. That's some freaking heat right there. We need to try out this Ultra 20 on somebody. Uh, let's get a little closer. Don't be shy. Alright, let me know what that recoil does on that thing. Look at the chance to hit. See ya. Absolutely badass. Alright, let's see if we can pull this guy's leg off. Now, how much has he got left here? 58. Both largest hit were good. I don't know if they will, though. Let's include the large pulse as well, just in case. Let's go up to the leg. There we go. Was that leg? It was. Both legs. Alright, duck. Can you get a direct line of sight on somebody? You can. Copy that. Can you uh, drop a little LRM-70 on this guy's ass? That's 94% chance to hit. We're going to take it. Engaging. Whoops. We can salvage that. Awaiting orders. Let's finish this up, guys. 
Let's give it to him. Warlord this. Confirm it. Let's give him a pasting. Look at those missiles, man. Hey, you fucking whiner. I don't have any long range missiles left, so I don't know what to do. I'm here. I know he's not whining. Now, there's something else over there, is there not? All right. They didn't come with just three, did they? They did. Huh. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Yeah, I think I'm liking that loadout. Alright, now we just gotta clear up the base and get out of here. Alright, Duck, where are you? Up there? Alright, you stay there. Who do we got? Mastodon. You got, you're the closest, buddy. Can you get in there? You sure as heck can. There you go. There it is, folks. Mission successful. Okay, 203,000. Not bad. That should cover repairs. Let's see what we got here. Uh, two archer parts. Not going to say no to those. Oh, we got archer P down here, too. The two R is what? Doesn't say what it has on it. The one with the pirate for four laser, four missile. Is this the same? No, it's not. It doesn't have support points. So the pirate version is probably better than... It's got two support points. Two LRM-30 and tons of flamers. Okay. Alright, we can deal with that. Heavy MRM-20s. We got lots of heavy MRMs. We just don't own another laser AMS. Oh, we can't take it anyway because we're taking the Archer. Uh, mag shot cannon. 8 tons, 40 damage. 16 rounds in it already. That's kind of interesting. For 5 heat, 40 damage, 8 tons. It's not bad, I guess. Kind of a medium range weapon. Another tag barrage. No, I think we go with the Archer. Now I can't, do we have an archer part? We don't have any archer parts anyway. What's this? Mark two, grants breaching shot plus one invasion ignore. God, so many good things here. But I think I want to take the archer to replace the Apollo. Pirate fire control. Well, let's hope we get something good here. Sensor trackers. God, there's so much good stuff. We're leaving it all on the ground. All right, let's see what we got. Ah, Shadowhawk part. Okay. Fire fist, which we don't need. We don't need it. We don't need tags. We don't need this. Don't need that. Pro is that a heat sink kit prototype? Nice. Barrel. Leg jump jets. Meh. Yeah, all right. Let's get this stuff fixed. 58,000. Yeah, I knew it was going to be a bit... So I'll have to work some way of getting those, uh... Ooh, the Bushwhacker took a significant amount of damage, eh? To find some way to get those things integrated into the, uh, the AMSs integrated into a mechs. But we'll see. Alright, let's get this stuff fixed here. Beautiful. Uh... Let's get them an exercise regiment. Oh, good. Well, decreased by 10. Wow, really? Well, at least workhorses on a one of our main pilots. So, all right. Let's do this. Where are you? Heavy lure. Let's take this one. Full salvage. Let's see what they got to field for. A field against us. That is. Uh, you. 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 Uh, you, 
you and you. Uh, right? Yeah, let's do this. All right, here we go. So I had a hard crash coming down here. I had to restart my whole computer. Game locked up. It's bizarre. Uh, anyways, it looks like we got a support lance, do we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, it looks like we got a pretty heavy support lance, too. Yeah, relatively heavy. Oh, they got weak armor, though. Okay. Looks like we got three lances. This is the heavy lure. Let's just do this. Standing by. They will most likely... Uh, let's reserve you. They'll most likely um, have an additional lance. Now, I was going to change the mech um, layouts here. I was going to switch uh, um, duck and mastodon around, but I think um, that would have been probably a little bit of cheating, so I didn't do that. Uh, the only reason because um, Mastodon's got multi-target and that's better for the archer, but no big deal. I'll worry about that next time. Because I did uh, get into play without that, so. Oh, what do we got here? Grand Summoner. Really garbage chances to hit, but we're just going to take them. I didn't think this was supposed to be up against the clans here. Missile only, huh? Confirm. That's alright. That's alright. Sure. Take a pot shot. Not really worried about that MML5. If we hit, we do. If we don't, we don't. It's like, whatever. We got SAM dead fire for close range, so. Come on, let's go, guys. So they got two support lances. And it says destroy enemy units, but I'm guessing it's probably just the Grand Summoner? Maybe? Maybe they'll all be Omnimax. And maybe they'll actually have half-decent armor. With the exception of the Grand Summoner, of course. I think with this one, though, if they are all low armor, I'm, only, I'm not going to take mech parts out of this. I'll just take uh, components. Just because it's really not fair if they keep if they keep having low. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should turn up the difficulty. That's the other thing. Maybe I'll do that between episodes. Enemy sensor lock detected. Hey, fired something. Ebola, huh? It's an Ebola. You need to get up closer. Let's get you up here. Most enough. I know we're uh, bunching up again, but. Gotta use the trees. Put them boys in the trees. Now, does this guy have full armor? No idea. No idea. What do we got left here? The archer. The Apollo. Gonna put you over here. Yeah, a couple of hits. I think I hit something good. I don't think we'll use the archer on this guy though. If I want components, just thinking that with that crit to the uh, ER medium, we're gonna have to pull his legs off. I think if we want stuff out of this guy, which I should be able to do. I think if we get both the our Grand Summoner and our Hades 
We should be able to pull his legs off next turn, depending on where he moves. The problem with that, though, well, maybe it's not going to be the Grand Summoner. We'll see. Is I don't want to waste the Ultra 20. Because that guy could certainly deserve it. Looks like it's a uh, half-decent half sized mech here. Thunderbolt. Still don't know what, how much armor these guys have. That Thunderbolt could definitely use a, a face full of AC-20. Oh, what's he doing? Just sitting there? Alright. That's alright, man. You want to just sit there? That's fine with me. So we got a bunch of laser AMSs. We got two of them, I think. Maybe three. One clan, one inner sphere. Then we've got the Mark II AMSs. But once again, we're still really short on ammo. We've got a ton and a half of ammo. That's it. Which is why I'm really looking for the laser AMSs. I know they add heat to the mech, but I like them because they can. Uh, we don't have to carry ammo with them. Okay, what else they got? They're supposed to have two support lances. Usually there's a couple guys up here, but I haven't encountered anybody yet. Um, how far can you get up here? Let's get in the trees. Alright, let's see what your chances to hit are here. 16 on him, 13, 11, 13. Uh, let's give it to the Hetzer. Yeah, I wasn't expecting much. That's fine. That's fine. Looks like we've all moved now. And that was 15, so most likely it's just their vehicles moving. Sorry guys, if I'm starting to sound tired here. It's late in the evening here. January 4th, 1230 in the evening. I guess it would be January 5th then, wouldn't it? Just thought I'd get in a couple... Oh. You better not have, like... His left side is gone, so maybe he's got some stuff on his right side? I don't know. Thermobaric... Explosion... Well, what do we got here? A lament, lament. No armor on these guys. The bull has got lots, though. So let's give him a pasting. Good damage, good penetration there. Not enough to kill, though. My main guy doesn't have multi-target, so those vehicles like that are good for a full blast. Yeah, this guy's got no armor. How is this guy doing? I have no idea. That could have been a support lance. I don't know. This guy could be part of the support lance, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Oof, really? Confirmed. Beautiful. Still didn't matter. Managed to kill. Enemy vehicle removed. That's why we need the tracker sensors on that mech. So the Grand Summoner probably was the heavy mech, I'm guessing. Yeah, you ain't going to have those for very much longer. Reporting. Out 
All right, let's give him the what for. Here it comes, everybody. I believe this should have an effect. <laughs> How's that working out for you? There's a raven. Did we get a vehicle that was here? We did, didn't we? I think so. Let's walk up here. I know killing the Hetzer is not going to be glamorous, but you get your stability back. Get some heat back. Let's crank this up. Oh, you don't really need to crank it up that much. Let's leave the barrage off, though. Is that enough? Should have been. Mm -hmm. That'll do. That'll do. Commander. That'll do. Who gets the face full of death? Probably the Raven? Oh, what do we got here? Self-propelled artillery. It's a lot of ballistic. Those are probably all mortars. I think we should probably take care of this guy. Target locked on enemy's rear. Once again, we don't have multi-target on this guy, so... Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Ready. Just want to make sure that guy's gone. Uh, we need to get closer with the Ultra 20. Get a little closer. Now don't be shy. Get a little closer and warlord this guy. <laughs> I think we took both of his torsos off in the first salvo. <laughs> Uh, it would be such a different story if that guy had full armor. Alright, Boba, get up here. Get me some ATMs on this guy, please. Gonna HE him. Now, he's shut down, so we don't need to go with this, but let's see if we can pull the leg off. Or we could just kill him, that works too. Took his leg off, but then he died. Huh. Okay. Whatever. So they got three left. A raven and I have no idea what. I wonder if they're going to have anybody else show up. So what do we kill here? The Bola, the Hetzer, self-propelled artillery, a S3, Thunderbolt, and the Lament, and this Grand Summoner. So I guess there was two in the main lance, right? Which was probably this guy and this guy? Lament and the Grand Summoner? Was it? I don't know. Does it really matter? Oh, you better not shoot me in the back. Okay, Anubis. He's going down hard. I remember earlier in the game when that guy was pretty damn scary and we were like, ah. Oh. Okay, light carrier. Let's kill this guy. Yes, Commander. Look at all those missiles. This is just crazy. 122 heat. Tango down. Ready for orders. Anubis is yours, buddy. Can use the HE again. Here it comes. That was fast. Eliminated. 
All right, well. Oh, I was about to <laughs> Why do I open my mouth? I was about to say, well, all we got to do is drop some LRMs on that guy. It's all over. Apparently not. Well, that's all right, though. Wow, he's out of range of everything else? Really? Engaging target. Whoa. Well, he's at full strength. That's a good thing, I guess. So I think we need to go up to force. Well, after this, after this um, episode, I am going to crank up the difficulty. I'm going to turn it up too, probably. Uh, let's get rid of this guy. Locked on. I don't know, maybe two. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. I'll stick around three skulls then. If I if I if I do it if I up if I upgrade it by two. I'll stick around two skulls, or sorry, three skulls, and if I upgrade it by one, I'll stay at three and a half, four skulls. See how it goes. Because yeah. I was definitely, you know, hoping for heavier opposition than this, but we're just not getting it. We've been taking a lot of three and a half skull missions and getting a lot of iffiness. That sounded like a laser AMS to me. What's that guy? Oh, a trebuchet. I haven't seen one of those in quite a while. Uh, let's just keep going this way. I'm not going to fire the missiles. Somebody's got a peep. What are you? What are you? Panther. 35 ton Panther. That's the ER range, I think, right? Oh, light tag range, that's it. Yeah. That's. No, well, that's actually a pretty good distance, I guess. It just. There's a hill here, so it looks like they're closer than what they are, but they're not that close. I was going to say, it seems like a really short range not to be able to hit with the uh, with the uh, ER lasers, but but they're not clan lasers either. Well, I guess the ER lasers, the clan and the inner sphere, I don't know what the difference really is. Uh, we need to get in closer. Not that close, but closer. Oof, really? Someone's got some ECM. This guy doesn't, though. Enemy mass. Critical damage detected. Ready for orders. Okay. Oh, we got an ammo. What do we got over here? A rapier. All right. It's been a while. I'm gonna put. Uh, let's see the barrage off. Target acquired. Oh, you got a laser AMS, do you? Doesn't help, but. One less target. Whatever, whatever floats your boat, buddy. Now that sounds to me like a laser AMS, not a uh, ammunition powered AMS. I could be wrong, but we'll see. At least these guys showed up with some good gear here. So priority priority takes. We'll have a look at what the uh, Grand Summoner dropped. Uh, to determine what we're taking from that. Now that guy's going to use the AMS on you, so let's not waste these rockets right yet. Will you leave the M leave the MRMs on, but we'll fire. Okay, still a lot of them hit. Beautiful. Yeah. 
Ah, God, still can't get a shot at these guys. Same thing. Fire the missiles on this guy. Copy that, Commander. Guard a critical hit. Okay, medium ER pulse clan. Jeez, you don't quite have the uh Yeah, it's only the tag range. Let's just sprint it up here. I really don't like it when we have mechs that can't shoot. Like every turn. Even if, we, even if it's just an MML5. You know? From position. Damn it. Oh, I guess I could have switched back to standard ammo. Oh well. No biggie. It's a lot of freaking AMS. Yep. Lock in target. That looks like you got them all. Thank yet. That's not your fault. That AMS is working overtime. There's going to be no ammo left for us to take. Yeah, so... It, in uh, terms of importance, I think we're going to need a Clan XL engine because I don't think the Apollo has the XL. I can't remember if it does or not. I think it's I think it's got a an Inner Sphere XL. I can't remember for sure if it does have a Clan XL or not. Maybe it does. Did we install one earlier in this series? When we first got it, I think we upgraded it to a Clan XL. I can't remember now. But Clan XL engine, if there's a laser AMS, it's another possibility. That's, I think that guy's got an advanced AMS, in which case we'll take that. It's one of those things that we want to throw that in the uh, support lance. So they can stick relatively close together and move together. This guy here doesn't want to move. I can't offensive push him? Because he's stealth? That's interesting. He's not the problem this guy is. Can I offensive push him? I sure can. Too bad we can't go for a headshot. Um, let's see if we can leg him. And drop some Marty on him, might as well. Right torso, right arm. Uh, we didn't get the leg. Alright, now that we're closer. Let's not be shy. Let's see if we can shut this guy down. Oof, we almost got the leg. What, he's got like one point left in the leg? Let's go after this guy then. Somebody lost their AMS. Reporting critical hit. No more long range missiles. Can we get a side shot on that other guy? All right, let's see what we can do here. Thunderbolt! Um, yeah, we can't OP this guy. Alright, let's just kill him. Thermal exchanger 3 destroyed. Damn it! Not a whole lot, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Roger that. 
See if we can claim that leg. There we go. Sure did. We got one more jerk back there somewhere too. Yeah, not spotting the other guy. Okay, uh, 84, huh? I'm on it. Oof, really? Good to go. Ah, uh, 52, 56. Yep. Ah, uh, mostly CT stuff. Yeah, but we're trying to take his leg off, buddy. Don't kill him! Damn it. Well, hopefully it wasn't too bad. There's that Treb. Huh. Why isn't he shooting? Is it the short range version? Could be. We are at extreme ranges. Oof, really? Yeah, let's just shoot him. Alright, we're pen somewhere. Hellion. You are in devastation range. So you can offensive push him. God, he's got full armor. Let's finish him up. See ya. Took him down. Mission successful. All right, that was 130,000 worth of uh, freeness. Now, uh, can we tell Apollo? I do have a Clan XL in the engine in the Apollo, so I don't. If I'm going to use the Archer, I don't need to replace this one or replace that. Yeah, if we replace this guy with the Archer, we won't need to do that. And it's got Sensors Tracker, Artemis 3. Okay, so that's fine. So if we can get... God, I just love to take mech parts. Ah, uh, Grand Summoner. Oh! Okay, we're going to take one mech part, because we can't not. Uh, Lament. Could have taken that, or Lament, whatever. ER Flamer. 270 meters, eh? Tigert. Yeah. Hyper Laser. 100 damage for 72 heat. 15% misfire chance. Range 840 meters. Seventy two heat. It's an interesting proposition, but I don't think I can justify it for seventy two. Like, that's a lot. Of, that's like you definitely have to add at least two heat sinks to a double heat sink. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna toss it in for a, for a second and see. Medium ERs, these are nice. MML Intel, sorry, MMN, MML 10. That's interesting. For 13 heat, I love flat 15% jam chance. Um, Tagger, Thumper Artillery. We've already got one of these guys. 
emergency cooling system it's a possibility enhanced imaging again mark 2 plus 1 evasion pips ignored grants breaching shot that is interesting ah well definitely these higher missions are oh, another radical prototype double heat sink kit sniper sensors sensor trackers we're definitely looking for one of those uh, weapon mount plus <sighs> well we still have one of these so I'm not worried about taking this a lot of our mechs aren't allowing, like a lot of the uh, Omni mechs that we have don't allow for the weapon mount because they don't have a lower arm actuator. And I can't add the uh, Omnipod lower arm and have it work. Unfortunately, it has to replace a component that's already there. Ooh, plus two SRM accuracy with Artemis ammo. If we had a ton of this, then our uh, the Erian um, SRMs that we have, we got like eight of them or ten of them or something. This would be crazy if they all had this, because they're they're all minus one to hit. So this would give them plus one to hit, plus one evasion pips ignored. That would be and then ten damage each. That'd be crazy. Um. No, I'm happy with this. I think we'll take what we have here. Um, and we'll see if we can get this hyper laser to work. It's an interesting uh, interesting proposition to, to put that on something. The range is, is definitely good. 840 meters with zero minimum range. 15% misfire chance though is like, I don't know. Does it get damaged on misfire? Maybe? I don't know. Well, it's something we'll play with. Let's just take this. Okay, Immoid part. Eh, no big deal. Three machine guns. Wow. MML 10 risk. SRM 2, really? Three regular, or eight regular heat sinks. That's sellable. Leg jump jets again. Radical. Okay, we got the heat prototype double heat sink kit. Nice. We got the two arm mounts. Excellent. So that was, I'll take that. That's a pretty good roll. Half the stuff is junk, half the stuff is good. All right, nothing in repairs. They didn't put up any kind of fight. All right, so we're going to get our stuff repaired, our, our uh, mech warriors back. We got more time here to do lots more missions. I'm going to hold off bringing that archer forward. Um, there's also a griffin that we can uh, um, get going, the grand summoner we can get going. I'm going to hold off on those until we have, um, you know, a few more missions under our belt because we're at 1.8 million right now for our costs. And as soon as I bring those forward and get them updated, like this, this funds is going to drop and just basically disappear. So um, we're going to get a bunch more missions under our belt. We most likely, definitely we can pull off two more before the end of the month. If we're lucky, we can get three more in like every five days so we'll, we'll, our guys will be back in five days there's that two more days for the harness and one more day beautiful so we got ten days left we might be able to get two more missions in uh, let's just have a quick look here because um, we're working on getting the last little bit of this drop tonnage so this is what So I don't know if this is going to give us We're going to do this. Sure thing. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. So I don't know if this will give us our last mech or what this will be. I don't know. We've almost got enough to get one more mech, but I don't know. 
Man, we're going to really have to get generate some sea bills every mission we drop with the eight mechs. It's crazy. Either that or just split it and do four mech and a four mech drop and double up on the missions and take lower end missions. Not necessarily lower end, but um, lower skull missions and just split our teams up. That's a possibility as well. But that's for the future. I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.